Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a profit and loss chart in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, here we have the year wise revenue and the profit and loss. So if it is loss, then it will be in negative. If it is profit, then it will be in positive. And these charts are totally dynamic depend on this profit numbers. For example, if I put here 80, then this will be converted into green and will show the length of the bar accordingly. If I put here minus 70 or 79, then this will be in negative. Okay, you can change the number as let's say I'm putting here 1200, then the whole chart will be changed. The scale of the chart will be changed according to the new number which you have entered. So it is ticking, which is the maximum accordingly it is creating this chart. So this is totally dynamic and uh, we have just created inside the Excel cells. So you can simply create it in your dashboard or business report and you can make it more beautiful and more visual appealing. So let's start without delay. I'm going to add a new seat. This is seat two and I will create this chart here. So let's go to the view first and remove the grid lines from here. Then we can copy this data and just paste that here. So this is simple data year and then we have the revenue, we have the profit and loss. Just make it slightly bigger. You can increase the row height also slightly. Okay, now here we will create the profit and loss chart. Okay, so we will create this chart in two cells. So just select these two and use merge from here. Now we can select this hole and press control one to open the format cells and go to the border. So we will select this line and let's take some lighter gray color. Let's say this one and outline then click inside click on ok we can see that border is available here and we can take the same formatting here also so you can just click format painter and just click here and you have to use merge and cells again all right now let's increase the size of these two columns and we will select this range press ctrl 1 again and we will remove this middle line from the border so just click that is removed click on ok so it is looking like it is a single cell now here we can put the formula if this value is less than zero that means if it is negative then we will use abs formula to get the absolute number select this and just close the bracket this formula will remove the minus sign from here and will give you the absolute value comma if it is not negative then just so blank close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting only 79 this time without any negative sign let's use the similar formula here if this cell is greater than 0 then so this value else just so blank close the bracket hit the enter it is showing blank select these two and fill down control D so we are getting here values now somewhere here we can use a formula that is max so we can get the maximum value from these two range just hit the enter so we are getting the maximum value here now select this range the first range for the negative one and then we can press alt OD to open the conditional formatting rule manager let's click on new rule and we'll select the first option that is format all cells based on their value and here at bottom we'll go to the format style and we will select data bar now here the minimum value we will select number and the maximum value also we will select number let's select the minimum as zero the maximum we can just click on this cell here we have taken the maximum okay so just delete this and then select now we will check this so bar only this is negative one so we will take the red color here and just click on ok apply so we can see the red color but the direction we have to change from right to left so let's edit this and we'll change the bar direction right to left click on ok apply and ok so this is working 
Now we will select this range and press Alt O D again. New rule. We'll select the same option, data bar. Select here number, number, minimum value zero, maximum value. We can select equal to and just click here. And the color of the bar we will select this one. The direction we will take left to right and so bar only. Click on OK. Apply OK. So this is working. Now if I change the value here, let's say minus 29, then this is negative. I'll take here let's say 67. This is positive. So it will be working for all. So friends, that is how we can create this profit and loss chart in Microsoft Excel using the conditional formatting. We don't need to use any additional chart. We can simply place this Excel cells. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.